everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be converting the jump bike to tubeless. I did the e-bike not long ago and that went really well but I thought today I'd give it a go on the jump bike. Obviously I'm not going to film the whole process because you guys li literally have just seen that video not too long ago but then I'm going to take it to a little pump track which is just open near me and try it out. Right, so the bike's in the stand now. I've put the um, bubble wrap here just to protect the frame and I've got all the stuff I need. So I've got the tubeless tape this time which is something that I didn't do last time because the Ridgeline wheels came fully tubeless ready. So when I take the tyres off I'll see if these, whip, these rims have tubeless tape in but I've got some just in case. Then I've got the Halo Fibertech tubeless sealant again and my tubeless valves which you guys saw last time. So what I'm going to do first is check what tyre pressures are in each wheel because I literally cannot remember how much um, air is in the tyres. So I'm going to do that first just because I'll get it right when I then put all of this in. Right, so same as before, just got to take the wheels out and take the tubes out. Right, so these um, forks are a little bit different because they are um, not quick release so they've got little bolts on the back which you have to undo so you can see here and obviously that side as well and then you basically put an allen key through there and the wheel will drop out. Okay front wheel is out now so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show this one on camera and then we can cut to the pump track because I know you guys just want to watch the riding and I'd rather ride as well <laughs> but Let's go, let's uh, convert the bike to tubeless. I'm super excited actually because I think the tubeless valves just look so much nicer. So I'm excited to see what they'll look like and actually how it rides differently as well. Because obviously, like I said in my last video, it has got less weight. So that's definitely beneficial for the jump bike. So we'll see if I can actually get some air at the pump track later. Okay, first things first, like I did before, let all the air out the tire and then pop one side off of the rim. I've got my trusty Halfords <laughs> tyre levers which I got for Christmas this year. So I'm going to try and pop the bead off because these are on super super tight. Right so as you can see I've taken the inner tube out now and these rims actually don't have tubeless tape on them so I'm going to put the tubeless tape in the rim. I'm going to take the tyre off the rim now. I've popped it off the bead slightly so it should be easier to... There we go. Off the rim, nice. Right, before we put the rim tape on, which I've got out here, we need to take off the white stuff so that the tape will stick really good to the rim. So I'm going to do that now and I'll get back to you when it's all off. Cool, there we go. All off, so we've got a fresh rim to stick the tape to now. So what we've got to do is find the hole where the tubeless valve will go and you stick the tape just past it so that you know where the hole is. So let's do that. And it has got to be so so tight because the tubeless sealant cannot leak because then it just won't work. I'm actually loving doing bike mechanics in this lockdown period because it's uh, a super good way to learn about the bike and stuff which is cool um, and I feel like I need to learn about the bike because obviously you're riding it and you just don't know like if something was to break and you're out on a ride then you need to know how to fix it and obviously tubeless as well it is a huge benefit and it's actually fun to do I quite enjoy doing it <laughs> so there we go we've got the tape all in the rim now so what I'm gonna do is find the valve hole which is here and poke the valve through it so it literally only pierces it to put the valve in and then it's time to put in the sealant Right, as you can see, the valve is in and I'm going to now put the tyre back on the rim and 
my trick that I done last time was I pumped the tire up just to make sure it was seated correctly and then put the tubeless sealant in because then at least you know that um, it's not gonna go everywhere basically so I'm gonna do that right now right so I've just cut the top of this off with a Stanley knife and I'm going to now put this in here so hopefully it will work tubeless sealant onto the core of the valve just like that and then tip it and then let the tubeless sealant go in like that the tubeless sealant's in now and I've attached the pump hopefully yes I can feel it going up right as you can probably tell from this it's a bit messy <laughs> and I actually struggled with this one because um, the tyre wouldn't take the air so it, I had to literally like pump like crazy but obviously the last thing you want is for the tubeless sealant to stain your tyres but what I found is that the Muckoff Nanotech bike cleaner actually works insane at getting it off so I'm going to spray that clean it up and put it back in the bike as you can see the front wheel is back in the bike so I'm just going to do the back wheel and then we'll we'll go to the pump track right so I've made it to the pump track bikes in the van so far so good the tires are still up and I'm going to do a couple of laps of the pump track Super chill, just like chest cam, head cam, we'll switch the angle up a little bit to try out these tubeless wheels. So let's go to the pump track. Okay, dropping in, pump it. Oh my God, I literally haven't been on a pump track in so long. Oh my goodness, feels weird, man. Yeah, that's sick. So far, so good. The tubeless wheels are doing so well. So I actually haven't really noticed many differences, but it's definitely gonna help with like jumping. I literally have not been to a pump track in so long. So um, I need to dust the cobwebs off basically, but I'm gonna do one more lap on the chesty and then we'll get creative, we'll go for helmet cam. Okay, dropping in for the second run. Let's see if we can get some speed. Pump, pump. Oh no, the wind. Pump, pump. That was awesome. I actually don't know how much quicker I can get because I'm really worried where it's so dry, I'm gonna slide out, but I've got my knee pads on, which is good. But what I'm gonna do now is put the GoPro on my helmet and do one last lap of the pump track. Okay, okay here we go, head cam. One awesome little session on the pump track, on the jump bike. The tubeless definitely worked, which is really good. I just wanted to go and have a little session really because it gives the tubeless sealant a chance to spread around the tire and also it means that you won't wake up the next morning with two flat tires. So um, I actually am going to go to another pump track very soon with Tom. So you might've seen it in one of my other videos. Um, it's huge, it's awesome. So keep an eye out for that video and I'll do a, a full session on the pump track then um, but yeah like I said I just wanted to go and test out the wheels and they definitely um, they were perfect basically so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up leave some comments below and I'll see you guys very very soon bye